Five people hospitalized and one man dead after an overnight fire in Bloomington. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Mark Welp. And I'm Shelby Roberts. That fire happening around 11:15 last night, just west of downtown Bloomington. WMBD's Austin Shake joins us live tonight outside of the home with the latest details. Austin. Well, Mark Shelby, this is some of the remains from that fire that Bloomington Fire Department says took nearly 13 hours to fully control. Now you can see really concentrated on that third floor. That's where the firefighters had most of the fire. And it was even so bad they couldn't even go in at one point onto that third floor. Didn't make entry into that home till 2 a.m. Now this is on Market Street between Mason and Oak Streets, just west of downtown Bloomington. And firefighters say eight people are now displaced from this home following the fatal fire. Five of those eight are still recovering tonight at local hospitals with fire related injuries. Now they did not specify how those five people are doing, but fire officials say once they made entry, they found a 62 year old man dead inside the house. Now one man tells me he was inside this very house tonight and he's lucky to be alive after spending time there with his family. See the cloud full of, full of smoke coming up. It turned pitch black. We made sure to get all of the kids out, me and my family. We fought for our lives. And the most that I'm grateful for is that we got both of my baby, my baby nephews out of there and my family. Now, Bloomington Fire did not provide any more comment than a press release on this specific fire. And there is no identification yet on that dead man, but there is an autopsy scheduled for tomorrow morning. The house itself is deemed a total loss. For now, live in Bloomington, Austin Schick, WMBD News.